I'm Dr. Jack Gilbert, and you're covered in bacteria. Welcome to Chicago. There are 10 million people in the metropolitan area, and every single one of those people is shedding from their bodies 15 million microbial cells an hour. That means that every time you interact with someone in your day-to-day -day life, you're picking up microbial signatures from them. And that's shaping your microbiome and altering your life. And that's fundamental to our research, trying to understand that interaction, map it, structure it, and use it to understand health dynamics. So for the last 100 to 150 years, we've been trying to wipe out all microbes in our environment. With antibiotics and sterilization agents, we've been going at them hammer and tongs trying to kill them all. And we're now starting to realize that those microbes are really important for our ecosystem and our health. They train our immune system to be strong and healthy. We need them in our environment. So you have 100 trillion bacterial cells inside your body. They outnumber your own cells 10 to 1. And what we're starting to understand is by looking at those organisms and finding out which ones you have versus which ones your friends have, we can say intricate things about your health and your well-being. For the last 10 years or so, we've been applying next generation sequencing technologies like those we have at Argonne National Laboratory, which are like telescopes helping us to see the microbial world inside our bodies and our environments in unprecedented detail. And we're starting to learn things about the microbial interaction we share with our environments. Our homes, our offices, our cities shape our microbial cells. And that in turn shapes our health. By looking at these things in detail, we're finding out that bacteria can maybe, if we change the ones inside you, cure things like autism, Alzheimer's, even cancers. We can look at obesity as an epidemic. We can understand neurological conditions like schizophrenia and reshape them. Allergies, asthma, they can be eradicated by adding the right kinds of bacteria back in. So it's fundamental that we understand this in a rich and cohesive way.